What's up guys? So with Coachella just around the corner, I'm going in about 10 days, weekend two, who's coming with me? I have really been thinking about what I want to do there as far as recreational substances, drugs. And with that being in my head so much, I got the idea to go into detail on the three top ones, the three most used when it comes to music festivals like Coachella. The differences between the three, what I would consider to be the safest and best uh, experience overall. So I I'm not really good at too much. I don't really know too much about a lot of different stuff. But one thing I can definitely say that I do know is how to take drugs at music festivals. I've experienced it all. The good, the bad, the scary, the life-changing, near unhealthy situations, the <laughs> unhealthy situations. You guys have heard the stories, and I'm not trying to talk myself up because I've done so much cool drugs, <laughs> but I'm really just saying like, I, I, I know about that, that's one thing. I would probably consider the most used and most popular drug to do at a music festival to be LSD, ecstasy, and shrooms. Shrooms, maybe not so much, but this video is more geared towards what I kind of know about. All right, so acid, LSD, lysergic acid diethylamide. So the first time I ever took acid at a festival, I actually did it at the Hollywood Palladium which is a pretty popular, legit venue. We took it outside, probably within what it felt like was 20 minutes, I was already tripping the walls. I remember looking up at the buildings and completely just zoning out. This was probably one of the worst, most intense LSD trips in my entire life. I remember I seen a guy giving us a light show and I thought he was a demon. I had to literally like hold on to people to walk there was a bar and there was like bottles on the bar that were like glowing. It was very intense. And I bring that up because ever since then, it really, 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 for the most part, made me more cautious when it came to LSD at music festivals because LSD is, there's two different ways of taking psychedelics in general. As far as in my experience, there's gonna be the way of taking it at a festival and there's gonna be the way of taking it with friends in a small group in nature, outside, you know, alone at your house, you know, something like that. A festival is a completely different thing. There's so much going on. You're not in conversation like you would normally be. You're concentrated for the most part on the stage or what is going on in the festival. It's that much more intense because a lot of music festivals are made for it now. There's so much stuff going on that it can really, really cause a lot of anxiety a lot of fear, it's different for everybody at the same time. Because I know guys who would do fucking six, seven tabs and be tripping balls and, and love doing it at festivals. Not to say that I don't love it because there are a lot of beautiful aspects to it. It just made me very cautious because there's been a lot of times where I've done a lot of acid at a festival and gotten lost. I just fucking made a video called Crying on LSD where I was crying on LSD at Coachella and it was intense. And that was the last time I did acid, which was I think two years ago now. So that's something I would be cautious with coming from myself. Shrooms, even more so I would say to be cautious. But to me, my favorite thing to do at a festival now is to eat shrooms, but slowly. When you eat just a stem here, a cap there and fill it and you slowly kind of come up, and you just kind of write it to where you just kind of right there, it's probably the best and most beautiful thing that there is because it's one, it's natural. It just feels better in that sense. Two, there's no nasty hangover. You don't feel it really the next day, even later that day, night. And three, it can be a very, very good festival party drug because it gives you the extra boost that acid does, but it doesn't last as long and it's a lot easier to control for the most part. You have to really kind of know how much you're taking and how much not to take because there's been times where I ate it slowly and randomly really started tripping balls. But for the most part, I've been able to control it and keep it at a level to the point where it's very, very enjoyable. Along with like having a beer and smoking, like it's really, to me, my most favorite thing to do at a music festival. And ecstasy. 
without a doubt, a good ecstasy trip is gonna be <laughs> no <laughs> amazing, no matter what. Especially if you allow yourself to really get into it and you're around like-minded people, it can be the most beautiful, amazing thing ever. Of course, better than just slowly eating mushrooms and like riding it out. That's just my personal favorite. Obviously, ex obviously ecstasy is huge and it's everywhere. Probably the most popular party drug. Sometimes at music festivals, it's not the, the exact vibe you want to have. You don't want to necessarily go see Kendrick Lamar rolling balls. You know what I mean? So you got to kind of know where you're at, know what you're listening to. And I found, you know, obviously back in the day, popping an ecstasy pill and just going for it was the best. Um, but now what I really like to do is get Molly powder and mix it into a water bottle and drink that moderately and slowly. And, you know, and really that is beautiful and it's safe as long as, you know, obviously, you know, it's good Molly. So moral of the story, you know, acid can be beautiful. Actually, before that, honestly, I think to this day, taking ecstasy and LSD is probably one of the best things you can do at a music festival ever, especially for me. Just the boost and the energy you have from the ecstasy mixed with the beautiful aspect of the LSD just goes together so perfectly. And if you can dosage it right and you know what you're doing, it, it can really be amazing. So personally, that'd probably be not necessarily now, but in the past, my favorite thing to do. You know, shrooms being probably my favorite now, but yeah, that can be amazing. They call it candy flipping. <laughs> fuck. I've been out the game, y'all. What the fuck? I feel so old. I'm about to go hard at Coachella, you guys. I'm telling you. If you guys are going to Coachella 2017 weekend too, I'll be there. I'm very excited. Just making this video has got me even more excited and it's kind of, kind of changing my mind about what I'm going to do. You guys will know I'm going to make a full length video on it. I'll probably even stream live from there if I can get a signal. So it should be and will be amazing. I want to honestly say thank you to everybody for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. YouTube right now is fucking crazy. Money's not being made and people aren't seeing my fucking videos. Like, I mean, look at all you guys who are saying that you have randomly just been unsubscribed from my channel. That's fucking bullshit. There's really not much that we can do except write it out. From what I'm reading in the next few weeks, everything should, you know, slowly get going back to normal. But because of that, if you guys want to make sure that you guys will see every video I upload, be sure to click the little bell next to my name. You guys hear it all the time. Probably going to just be talking about it every video from now on because I want to make sure you guys are seeing my videos. So yeah, appreciate you guys so much. Like I said before, if this is your first time watching me, uh, I make videos every Wednesday, click the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed the video, please click the like button. It helps out a lot. But yeah, that's it. Smoke something, drink something. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.